So a real estate agent's really important to sort of employ if you're selling a property, not buying a property. So you may purchase a property from a real estate agent, but they're not acting for you, they're acting for the vendor, the person selling the property. And so they're getting paid by the vendor, they're not getting paid by you, the buyer. And that's a really key distinction to point out because what they'll be doing is always thinking about what's in the vendor's best interest, not what's in your best interest, the buyer. So when you're buying property, you've got to be really careful of real estate agents. Um, there's no regulation on what they say and what they should say and what they shouldn't say. And unfortunately, um, they're not there to act in your interest. So with real estate agents, they're a means to you, for you to deal with to buy a property, but they're not working for you, they're working for the vendor. So a real estate agent doesn't have to be honest with you. The reality is every real estate agent will create smokes and mirrors. They'll tell you sort of white lies um, because the whole game of real estate agents is to create lots of interest uh, and scarcity and make you feel like you're going to lose that property. And so they could say they've had an offer, they've had lots of interest, etc. There's no one really watching them to say that you shouldn't say that or you should say this, etc. Now there is certain regulation and rules around what they can and can't do. The reality is when you're in a transaction, there's sometimes murkiness around those rules um, and there's sort of, uh, I guess, gaps in where those don't really apply. And so, yes, they potentially should be doing some things and shouldn't be doing some things, um, but actually whether that actually happens and those rules are enforced out there, you can't rely on that. And to be honest, I personally would just think that everything a real estate agent says to you is a lie because it's safer to think like that rather than to think that everything they say is true because um, you can easily get caught out. You need to do your own due diligence. It's like buying a car, which is... You've got no buy, it's completely buyer beware. If you, for example, sign that contract, you buy the property, and if in the future you say what the real estate agent said to you was wrong or something just isn't right on the paperwork, it's very hard to go back in time and get any sort of compensation. The reality is it's buyer beware. So I'd be going in there, uh, eyes wide shut to real estate agents, I guess, and eyes wide open to anything that you need to do your own due diligence on.